So, I'm working on myself. I'm working on a book called Welcome Home by Najwa, or Najwa Zabian. Sorry if I fucked up your name. Um, in one of these chapters and exercises, it was about oh. labels. For me, single mom to three boys under 11, almost divorced, hopefully soon, borderline personality disorder, Love makeup, I want to be an aspiring esthetician, Norse pagan witch or pagan, um, sexual abuse survivor, anxiety, depression, PTSD. I'm a person like that has that, that I'm a cheater, but I'm hardworking, determined, open minded, empathetic, uh, staying sober, spontaneous, adventurous. So, step two after I did all that. It's to go through one by one, thinking, who am I without this label, and how do I feel about myself if I can't use this label to describe myself? So, single mom to boys under three. For me, it didn't feel right, not to mention the boys. It's a part of my struggle and my reward in life, literally my only accomplishment and legacy, and I feel empty without using this label. Um, almost divorced, hopefully soon. There's a lot of history, painful history. I've absorbed it to my life because of the shit I went through with my ex. If the label's gone, then it's like it never happened. Like, it never mattered. But I'm starting to think that it doesn't matter really who I am. So I'm starting to clue in the more that I think. Um, borderline personality disorder. So, if I don't use this, I feel like people would wonder why I acted the way I did. Like, now that I'm diagnosed, maybe people want to understand more. Also, a part of a community. Belonging somewhere and not feeling alone with my issues. People would think I'm just nuts, crazy, or moody. Just because. Loves makeup aspiring esthetician. So, makeup is a part of why people like me. It's a part of my art. They think it's beautiful, and some of, some of it's a bit of attention, I suppose. And I like people to be like, wow, like, I love your makeup. So, if I don't have that, you know, it kind of feels like it takes away from my personality a little bit. Norse pagan witch, pagan witch, doesn't matter. It's my religion. It's like a coat of arms of my beliefs. It's... I always have to explain that it's a way of life. It informs others of it. Not having it feels like it doesn't matter. It's a dishonor to my ways of what I believe. An abuse in a narcissistic relationship and a sexual, like I was abused. So it, it would make it like it doesn't matter. Like it shaped me, it's a part of my story. And it would help others open up and share the stories and know that they aren't alone. Also understanding a boundary and you know, getting a little bit of, it's kind of like an exchange. Just like, oh my God, I didn't know that happened to you. Or if me and another person were talking about it, we both feel sympathy and we could connect that way. Cheater and I cheated. So it shows others that I show my shame. Uh, flashing out at myself. If I didn't tell anyone, then it's like I haven't made mistakes. It's cruel to myself, but justice for the person affected. And it, in my mind, it still doesn't, it doesn't seem right. Like it hurts every time I say it. But it's kind of like I'm lashing out at myself too. Like this this is just who I am. Like I'm such a bad person. But it's not true. Mental health struggles. So depression, anxiety, and PTSD. People wouldn't know I'm messed up right from the get-go. They wouldn't understand me or, you know, I'm giving them a chance to run away. Hard work and determine. Literally, what if they thought lazy and then... Again, actions are bigger than words. So I'm starting to like bounce. I'm starting to clue in and realize that it's a lot about for other people more than it is for me. It's more of like putting that out there to see if someone reaches. Um, Open-minded individual. Well, maybe no one would be open to me. Maybe they wanted to express but was afraid to. Empathetic. I put... 
brackets, I still matter. I'm starting to clue in that it doesn't matter, but then maybe people would think I didn't care. Spontaneous adventurous. What if they didn't know I like to go to places or didn't bother, you know, to reach out to me? Um, sober or sobriety. Um, to let others know that I'm trying to abstain from alcohol. You know, putting up those boundaries again. Healing myself to let know others of my journey that maybe not are aligned, they're not ready, and we're not in that part of the journey. After all of this, I literally started to think it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because I'm giving these answers out to other people. So I'll explain. So step three that she asks, who are you? Answer within. It already had dawned on me as I was going through. I'm like, I still wrote the rest out just so that I could understand myself. And it was like, those labels are me trying to explain my life is to take or leave, but it truly doesn't matter because if someone came up to me and talked to me without the labels and they genuinely liked me, they would want to get to know me more than they would see my life. It's almost an exchange. It tells the person right off the hop whether we connect or not without getting to fully know me. It's a snippet of this label, it's trying to connect, to have relatability to someone or a disconnect, not genuinely getting to know the person regardless of the label or not. So therefore, at this point, she has proven that when she says, I'm Nejwa Zabian or Najwa Zabian, I can't say her name properly, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> She proved a point. You're giving snippets of your life. But at the end of the day, you are who you are. If someone's genuinely interested in you and genuinely wanted to get to know you, they would get to know you without the labels. And it wouldn't matter. Because there are bits and pieces of who you are. Having relationships with people, is take them or leave them. You're not trying to change them. When you fall in love with them, you love them for everything that they are, flaw or not. You're giving bits of flaws and best bits of yourself to somebody, but not the full you. And also, in my life, I like to push people away. I like to pull them in, push them away, pull them in, push them away. So as soon as they start walking away, I'm like, wait, where are you going? And I pull them in. I would highly recommend this book. I'm going to keep trying to update as best as I can or have some aha moments. Maybe help you and you guys healing too. But for me, it's more therapeutic for me. And honestly, every single time I've done something in this book, I've either been in tears or I've been just like a holy moment because when you start to realize things, you start to realize things. So I hope you all have a good Saturday and thanks for listening to my realization on labels. And I'm not gonna use labels anymore because fuck that. If you wanna get to know me, get to know me then. <laughs>